Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and I'm sorry for disappearing for some time. I have get I've got really busy with um readings and also some other things in my life, so sorry about that, okay? And on today's reading, we are going to check how does your person feels about you right now, okay? So, yeah. And as usual, we are going to have three different piles. So please make your selection and I'm going to see you on your reading. And by the way, if you want to get a personal reading, my email is themoonchildtarot at hotmail.com, which you can also find in the description box. So drop me an email and I will give you more information about that. And recently my turnaround time is five days, but yeah, just yeah just send me an email and i will give you more information okay so please make your selection right now and you can take a few deep breaths and just choose the pile that calls you okay you can you can check you can choose from the images or you can choose by numbers just go with whatever your heart tells you okay so yeah please make your selection and i will see you soon thank you Hello pile one, welcome to your reading. So let's see how does your person feels about you right now. Can you please show me how does pile one's person feels about them right now? Pile one, how does their person feels about them? We have nine of cups. We have two of cups in the reverse. We have page of cups. Okay. Let's have two more cards and I will tell you what I see. So how does pile one's person feels about them, please? Thank you. We have six of wands. And we have King of Pentacles. Okay, first things first, guys. I'm seeing someone who is a bit more on the shy side. Like, who this person is probably a bit shy, probably younger than you, because I'm seeing the Page of Cups in the middle of your reading, okay? And I feel like whoever this person is, this person thinks about you a lot, but I don't really think that um, he is really he's really showing this attention to you. But this is more like, you know like high school type of love i think like he's just watching you what you're doing and especially let me tell you this especially if you are someone who has a lot of stability in your life with these king of pentacles and six of wands especially um also if you are doing something that um maybe in your job you're dealing with a lot of people around you you are you know running after from one business meeting to another and maybe you have a lot of friends and maybe in terms of social status maybe your status is a bit more higher compared to this person and yeah this person just watches you and me i don't think that this person sees himself equal to you in a way if that makes sense because i feel like you are financially more stable and you have you're, you're probably have a higher position in your career as well okay and we, are, we have the nine of cups and two of cups in the reverse okay so i feel like this person thinks that um especially if you if you left this person alone if you tell this person you know what like i don't want to be with you again and it's not gonna work anymore like i don't want that i feel like this person still um 
still looks at that breakup and things like you know like she just moved on she's not really thinking about me she just get into this independent energy like she has what everything she wants you know she has a good job she has a she's independent and yeah so let's have some more can you please show me how this pile wants person feels about them please how this pile wants person feels about them please okay this is not for everyone but i feel like for some of you guys you might be married and maybe this guy that you're asking about is more like an affair okay because i'm seeing four of wands and also king of pentacles it can mean that you might have a stable home life but not that's not for everyone okay i think this card wanted to come out we have page of ones. So how do they feel? Pile one. We have death and the rebirth. We have high priestess. Oops, sorry. And we have king of swords. So I feel like guys, this person is like I said, is probably younger than you or her, his energy is probably more useful. Okay. And I feel like with this page of ones, he is, he is really, you know, passionate about you. He wants to, if, especially if you're together, maybe this person can't take his hands off you. He really likes, you know, um, he really likes to be around you. And I feel like this person deep down, he was like, actually, we could have these four of ones together, you know, he kind of dreams like, you know, we could have a family, we, actually, we could work out, you know, like, why not? But at the same time, I don't see him being very confident in himself. And we have a death and a rebirth in the in the middle again. So I feel like this person wants to um, change things, you know, he's just wishing that things will work in his favor and we have high priestess next to that if for me that and rebirth and high priestess next to each other is like you know just praying that you know like you will change your mind and you will call this guy and be like you know like maybe um we can try again let's keep this thing going or something like that yeah and i think this person might even try to send you messages through your dreams or whatever and Another thing I'm seeing is that I think this person really respects you guys, especially like I said, if you have a better, um, if you have better conditions compared to him, I feel like this person really respects that you are very hardworking and you, um, you get where you are right now by working really hard. And I think he really appreciates that. And I feel like. I feel like because your I think your finances is better guys I'm sorry I feel like your finances is better compared to this guy and because of that reason I feel like he's he's kind of getting into this king of swords energy which is more like you know I'm um, cold distant and um, he's actually trying to cover his insecurities by um, acting distant if that makes sense he's just acting like you know i'm also king but i'm i'm cold like i'm not gonna tell you everything in my life i'm not gonna do that but deep down i think he knows that he's just a page of cups and he's trying to cover his insecurities and i'm sure maybe this is not even a problem for you but this is how this person feels okay so let me have these cards let me have yeah i think i want to use this one and by the way i'm seeing here um scorpio energy a lot of fire and water energy as well we also have i think we have every sign but especially i'm getting more like water and fire for this pile okay so let's see so how this pile wants person feels about them please how this pile wants person feels about them how this pile wants person feels about them 
I am becoming a better person. Yeah, so I feel like, like I said, this person doesn't seem, see, seem, sorry. <laughs> He doesn't think that you are equal. He feels like inferior, you know? So he's just like, I'm becoming a better person. I wonder if you are happy without me. So especially if you left this person alone, I feel like he he's just trying to be like, how can you be happy without me? <laughs> this is very youthful energy, guys. Can I have them one by one, please? Oops. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Hmm. So maybe this person kind of manipulated you that, you know, um, manipulated you in a way he did something, but then he, he hid it and he kind of blamed it on you. You let me know. So how does pile one's person feels about them, please? Can I have them one by one? Just the one card, please. Thank you. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah. And the reason I'm seeing, seeing this, I feel like this person, I feel like has to do a lot of work. Like he has to work a lot on himself, also on his career he has to get a better job maybe he has to um, work on his insecurities and that's why i think he doesn't feel like he is the best option for you i left you before you could leave me <laughs> another another thing that shows a, like i think like big insecurity so if you didn't leave this guy and if this guy left you that's because I think he felt like he actually cannot have this four of wands with you even though he wants and that's why he kind of left you. I'm getting especially with this it was my fault but I blamed you and also I left you before you could leave me. I'm getting a lot of manipul manipulative energy and I don't really like that but I, I again don't think that this person is terrible you know like very manipulative because i don't see any cars that shows that on tarot but yeah there is still a bit of manipulation so just keep that in mind okay so i just want to see i this this deck i actually got it recently and i think it was like brutally honest tarot sorry oracle or something so i just want to check um what do you need to know about this person like what is your message like your ad mm, as as an advice like what's the truth like you know so this is your message okay and it says get your head out of the clouds okay I don't really like the way they make these cards, but I think the messages are useful, so I will just keep it. You can handle it. This is your message, okay? So just take it how it resonates with your situation. Okay, let's have both. Never trust your tongue when your heart is bitter. And we have go against the flow. And let me have just the one more. This is your message. And it says, if you don't move on, you will ruin your future. So I'll take this message as how it resonates with you guys. And I hope this reading helped you in one way or another. If it did, and if you like this reading and want to say thank you, 
you can subscribe to my channel for more readings and if you want to get a personal one you can find my email in the description box it is the moonchildtarot at hotmail.com and my turnaround time is usually five days but please drop me an email before i'm requesting a reading okay so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you on another one bye bye hello pile two so if you have chosen the second pile this is going to be your reading so let's see how does your person feels about you can you please show me how does pile two's person feels about them how does pile two's person feel about them how does pile two's person feel about them thank you we have eight of pentacles how does pile two's person feel about them please we have queen of swords We have seven of wands. We have four of pentacles. And we have queen of wands. Okay. So first things first, guys, the first, yeah, so first of all, what I'm seeing is that we have this, we start your reading with eight of pentacles, okay? So I feel like with some of you, you might know this person from school, from uni or from work. Like, I feel like there is some level of connection with this person that you maybe do things together to make money or to learn things, you know? And with this queen of swords energy, I feel like especially if this person that you're asking about is from work, I feel like because of that reason this person is a bit hesitant and that's why he is not maybe showing what he feels about you too much or if this person thinks that you know um, it can cause some type of um, conflict in his workplace or in his school or whatever maybe that's why this person is not really showing his emotions to you okay and I feel like whoever you are dealing with I feel like this is someone who is very stubborn okay like very stubborn and it can come off as a sometimes I think it can he can come off as a bit cold as well like cold and not very friendly okay but I feel like I feel like this person thinks that um, there are also other things, other people with the seven of wands in the middle. There are other people that affects your connection. So maybe there might be some gossip that, you know, like maybe some people talks about you, talks bad behind your back to this person. And I feel like this person still tries to, as you can see, like there are a lot of like sticks that tries to come to this person. And this person doesn't even look at that. Like he just trying to look at the side so i feel like this person tries to ignore it you know ignore it and just um focus on what he thinks and like i said as you can see in all of those things like this lady she's looking there she's looking there i, I feel like this person is very stubborn and for some of you, I feel like you might be dealing with someone who loves money a lot, who doesn't like spending, who doesn't... He, he could be a bit stingy person, okay? And I think this Queen of Wands is you. So you could be a fire sign, okay? You could be a fire sign. And I feel like whatever you, whatever this person lacks in his life, as in, let's say if this person is, like I said, is very cold, very distant, doesn't show any emotions, maybe you are kind of opposite. I'm seeing more like a situation where opposite attracts in this situation, okay? <clears throat> so especially if this person is very quiet, um, very, um, con you know, like, well very conserved i feel like maybe you are just opposite you are very friendly you love to talk to people you like to make new friends you are not afraid to um make jokes even though you know some people might be like 
that is too much you know like she's just being too much but you're just being yourself and i think deep down this person really likes that but he is just not showing his emotions okay so let's see can you please show me how this pile two's person feels about them please How does Pile 2's person feels about them, please? We have Ace of Wands. Okay. Let me have every card, like four more cards, guys. Yeah, this is another confirmation. I feel like this is someone from school or someone from work. Like, I feel like you're doing something together with this person. So can you please show me how this pile two's person feels about them, please? We have the magician. Oops, sorry. We have eight of swords. And we have two of pentacles. Okay, so I, I need to say this first, okay? If you are dealing with someone who is already in a connection, um, this, this person that I was talking about, like very bubbly and everything, that person could also be the, the other partner of this guy, but this is not for everyone, okay? Just a small percentage of you. So with this ace of one, guys, I feel like whoever you are asking asking about definitely is very um passionate about you and this person wants to talk to you like you know some people they just like um texting with s i don't want to say that word before the youtube but you know what what i mean i think i think this person really enjoys that like this is someone who really likes to play around who really um like who I think this person really fantasizes a lot of things on his mind. I think this person's imagination is really good <laughs> for some of you. And he really wants to talk to you. That's what I am getting, okay? He really wants to talk to you, but I feel like I don't know why is he putting this facade, this mask of Queen of Swords when he feels a lot of chemistry and he wants to initiate things with you but i feel like the, it is the environment that you're in guys i feel like because of the environment may, maybe um it could be a big issue if you guys you know say you are together or something i think that's the reason this person kind of stops there may be a bit of age gap as well but that's not for everyone and I feel like whoever you are dealing with is also very good at um, spirituality. So maybe this person could be very into um, um, healing or I don't know, like meditating. Because I'm seeing this magician and the seven of ones. So it is like this person is not easy to manipulate. Okay. Especially if, like I said, especially if other people talks about you, talks bad about you or anything. This person is like that he just doesn't believe that you know this is not someone that can easily be manipulated so that's a good thing so yeah and another thing i'm seeing is that um i feel like this person like i said he he could be very like stingy and he doesn't want to spend his money he doesn't want to do anything but at the same time I feel like this this person thinks that he, he just can't make a move towards you. I don't know why. But I feel like the biggest biggest thing is this is this with these four of pentacles and ace of swords, this kind of gives me a vibe of more like self-sabotage. You know, this person is like, oh, but I can't move towards her. But actually he can, but I feel like the biggest block in front of him is his personality. I don't know why he doesn't want to drop this mask, this cold ass mask and be himself. I don't know. And 
for some of you, like I said, that could be because of maybe another person is involved with this Queen of Wands and Two of Pentacles. Maybe this person thinks that, you know, like if he open up to you, um, how about this other person? Like he, he knows that he has to juggle two different things, as you can see here. And maybe he's not really into that. He doesn't want to do that. That could be the reason as well. So let's see. Can you please show me how this pile two person feels about them, please? By the way, I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot of air energy, so Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Sorry, I just yeah, Gemini, and I'm also seeing fire, but also Earth. I think there is strong um, Capricorn, Virgo energy here. But especially I'm getting air and earth. So let's see. How does Pile 2's person feels about them, please? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Interesting. I know I messed up everything. So maybe this person, maybe you kind of felt like this person just dump you or something, but maybe it was really hard for him to go to that way. And I think he knows what he has done, especially if he has done anything wrong to you. I think this person knows that he was wrong, you know. It's time for me to heal now. So yeah, I think this person needs time for healing. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this person also fears rejection and he feels like he cannot contact you. You should contact him. I don't know why. You came closer than anyone. So this is how this person feels about you, Pile 2. Um, I want to check with these cards. What is your advice or message about this person? Like, you know, this is, I think this is, this deck is called Brutally Honest Oracle or something. So yeah, let's see what is your advice, your message. Like, what, what does Spirit wants to tell you about this whole connection? So the first card is, this isn't worth focusing on. Just take it how it resonates, okay? This, this card may not resonate with everyone since this is a general reading, okay? See through your own excuses. The more you like yourself, the less you will need others to. You can handle it. Claim your mistakes. Okay, so this is your advice, this is your message. This isn't worth focusing on. See through your own excuses. The more you like yourself, the less, less you will need others to. You can handle it and claim your mistakes. So I hope this reading kind of give you an insight. And if you like this reading and want to say thank you, you can subscribe to my channel for more readings. And if you want to get a personal reading, guys, you can find my email in the description box. It is themoonchildtarot at hotmail.com. So please drop me an email and I will give you more information. But currently the um, turnaround time is around five days, okay? So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and please take care until I see you on another reading. Bye bye. Hello Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So let's find out how does your person feels about you right now, okay? Let's see. 
Can you please show me how does pile three's person feels about them? How does pile three's person feel about them? Thank you. We have the sun in the reverse. How does pile three's person feel about them? We have the fool. We have justice. Can I have them one by one, please? We have Knight of Cups. I've seen this card, oh, sorry. And the chariot. Okay. First thing that I'm getting for pile three is that um, with this justice in the middle of your reading, guys, I feel like this person is radiating a very indecisive energy. Okay. And when I say indecisive, I don't mean like he, he, he can't decide between multiple people or anything, but I feel like this person wants to do the right thing for himself, okay? And also for maybe you. But he, 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 this person is very big on being, being fair, okay? And this person could be Libra for some of you, but we also have um, Leo and um, water signs as well. So I think, yeah, don't just, yeah don't worry too much about the signs but i feel like this person he he with this sun in the reverse and the fool sorry for the noise i feel like this person right now thinks that whatever situation he is in right now is not giving him happiness okay he feels like he's not happy he's not getting what he wants and his life is a mess, okay? And with this fool card, he just wants to be like, you know what, like I'm not happy where I am right now and I maybe I should just start all over. I should move to another place or maybe I should just, you know, like switch off my phone for, I don't know, three months and not contact anyone, you know, and start a new life. But at the same time, he is like, but is that really what I want? Like, if I do that, is it going to bring me happiness and is it going to be fair on the other person, which is you? So when he looks at the other side that he could, you know, possibly do, he's like, maybe I should just, you know, like, have these flowers, bring my little, yeah, pack of this, this bouquet of flowers and just come to you and maybe, like, we can actually move things forward with, with, with you, okay? And he is very indecisive. For some of you, there could be something that this person needs to live in his past, guys. And maybe he's not really doing that. And yeah, I feel like there is something that this person needs to live in his past. But I feel like... Okay, I, I will still say it. This is not for everyone, but I'm just hearing like maybe there could be another situation that is actually dead in the past, okay? Like it's it's not really, you know, like it could be another person, but it's like the situation is just dead, you know? There is no spark, nothing. But he wants to he does he wants to just leave that situation, you know? But I think this person feels sad about that other party as well. And he doesn't want to hurt anyone if that makes sense but that's he feels like that's not where he belongs and he actually wants to come towards with this chariot and the nine of knight of cups i think so can you please show me how this pile three's person feels about them please okay we have three of wands how does pile three's person feels about them, please? We have two of pentacles. Yeah, very indecisive energy. Very strong Libra energy, guys. 
and we have the world how does pile three's person feel about them please okay two let's pick them up we have three of pentacles and we have a queen of wands okay so first of all like i said i think this person wants to just get away he wants to move away with these three of wands he wants to travel he wants to go away he wants to leave the situation that he is in right now because he is not happy there you know he just wants to pack his bag and just go to another place because I think this is a cycle that never ends in his life and he's not really happy but at the same time with this world card he's like I don't want to hurt anyone I don't want to hurt anyone I just want to have happy ending with everyone you know I don't want to hurt this other person but I also just want to pursue something with pile three with you because I feel like I feel like this person this person has more feelings for you guys like compared to this other person because I'm seeing you like he sees you as queen of wands and with this knight of cups and three of pentacles I feel like this person really wants to work things out with you he wants to come to you he wants to make things right he wants to express his love and he really wants to move things forward but let me tell you especially if this person has baggage from his past okay just be careful just even if you have feelings for this person just give him some time i think and let him sort his stuff out first because i think if he come to you like let's say if he decide to come to you without solving his past issues past traumas i think he's not going to come to you fully he's going he's not going to be invested in you fully because a part of his brain will still stay in the past so yeah just give this person some time if you care for him i think so let me have these cards and see how does this person feels about you so can you please show me how does pile three's person feels about them please I love you unconditionally yeah oops sorry I remember every detail of that day so especially if he had a very special day I think this person thinks about that a lot he he kind of goes back to in his mind and things what happens and yeah I should also tell you this guys especially can I let's I'm gonna have these ones one by one especially if this person has a kid from another woman okay I feel like that can also mean that maybe this person kind of loves that woman but in a way like he respects her because they have kids they yeah that could be another thing but that's not for everyone okay so can you please show me how this pile three feels about them please i feel you even though we are apart so even if you are not talking right now i think this person is still in your energy field and he can feel you okay oh sorry i dropped the card and we have i am not available so maybe for some of you this this person is not available because i think i think this is more like emotional availability because like i said i think he has some other things that he has to sort out and it's not about you okay this is too many cards can i just have one more please oops sorry can i just have one more card please does it say I am grateful for the spiritual lesson so if you feel like this partner and also 
I should say that. And also with this world card, this, per this person could be a karmic partner, okay? Not for everyone, but for some of you. Especially if you're not talking. Maybe this could also be a spiritual listen for you and also for him. And maybe he kind of see things clearly from afar that now you're not talking. So I just want to check what is your advice about this whole situation, like what is the truth, you know, what the spirit wants to tell you about this connection, like your advice cards, okay? So this, I think this deck is called Brutally Honest Oracles, so messages could be a bit harsh, <laughs> I'm just telling you, but just take it how it resonates, okay? So what is Pile 3's advice about this person, please, or their message, like what is that? What is Pile Therese's message or advice? We have honesty is an expensive gift. Oh, I think this deck is called Straight Up Oracle. Sorry. Always strive to upgrade yourself. Respect yourself first. Don't overthink it. Ask again when you are thinking clearly. So especially if you still feel like there is no karmic lesson in this connection, you, you know, maybe you should just deep down a bit more. That's just how I feel for this card. So yeah, this was your reading pile three and I hope it has resonated with your situation. If it did and want to say thank you, you can subscribe to my channel for more. And if you want to get a personal reading, you can find my email in the description box. So drop me an email and I will give you more information. And my email is actually the Moonchild Tarot, but yeah, please double check from the description. And my turnaround time is five days currently, but drop me an email first before you make a payment for reading or anything, okay? So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another one. Until then, please take care. Bye-bye.